Hi, so there was a question in the group about how to separate things in the containers after you've made it into a meal. Um, it's really hard to kind of say how to do it in a text, so I'm throwing it together in a little video. Um, I posted in the group a couple of days ago about a clean granola bar. Um, this is pretty much how to throw it together. Um, so what I did is I took everything apart and I separated it into the different, different ingredients. Um, now I know that roughly a yellow container is um, half a cup. I know that from Pinterest, the a few cheat sheets that I've come across. They're pretty consistent on all the cheat sheets that I've come across. So roughly a yellow container is about a half a cup. The granola is um, calls for three cups. So I know that that's six yellow containers. Now I know also that the honey is a half a cup and I know that the peanut butter is three quarters of a cup. So I have this handy dandy magnet that I have on my refrigerator. Um, you can also find conversion charts online, Pinterest. Um, I think I actually posted one on my Fit page, um, Fit with Sarah. But you can find them all over. There's also one on a, um, there's one, it's, I think the page is called um, I Eat Clean, Train Mean, something like that. But what, are you, what you do basically is you measure it all out before you put it together. So I've got three cups of oatmeal, three cups of oatmeal, so there's six yellows. I have got um, the half a cup of honey and the three quarters of a cup of, of peanut butter, which is roughly about six te 60 te teaspoons. I know, sounds like a ton, but you're going to be separating it up into the amount of servings. And I've also got, because I like to put a little fruit in mine too, half a cup of craisins. Now, half the purple is a little over a cup, So, but because... When you do dried fruit, it ends up concentrating the sugar content in it. I always count a half a cup as a full purple. So I always count a half a, a, half a purple of dried fruit as a full purple. Um, just kind of the way I do things, you find what works. Um, so basically all I do is, and I'm actually going to make it here in a minute, but putting it all together, you've got... You put it together in an 8 by 8 dish. So I've got 6 yellows, 60 teaspoons, and a purple. So you're going to take all of that and divide it into the containers or into the, the number of servings. Now I'm putting it into an 8 by 8 dish. I'm going to make 16 bars out of that. So I'm going to take the 16 bars, which are going to be 2 by 2 bars, and divide that by each one. So I'm going to take, I'm going to have 16 servings, divide that by six yellows. That means that each one, each bar is going to be roughly about half a yellow. Does that make sense? That means that I'm going to take that amount of teaspoons, divide that into each serving. So roughly each bar is about two teaspoons. The purples, on the other hand, is a little bit different. I rounded it up a little bit just to be on the safe side because it is a dried fruit. Um, so I actually made it so that each bar is roughly about a quarter of a purple just to be on the safe side so that I'm not being under. So I'm, I'm not being under because I know that dried fruit concentration of the sugar is pretty high. But I hope this makes a little more sense. Um, I, it does get a little confusing when you're putting things together into a recipe. Um, as far as kind of like the enchiladas go, kind of the same thing. You measure out what you're going to use first. You put it together. You do know that um, one tortilla is going to be a yellow, so you can count that, set it aside. Anything that you put together to mix in with it, you're just going to add to that yellow. So one tortilla is, one enchilada is going to be, figure that one enchilada is going to be your serving. So anything that you put in with that, you're going to separate all the other ingredients and then add it to your one enchilada. I hope that makes a little more sense. Putting it in text is a little bit difficult. So I hope that kind of adds or takes away some of the confusion a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to post on the video. Ask away. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the group.